Chelsea was the love of Chris's life, and she was a golden retriever. And she was a pause for a cause service dog that came to Chris the summer before he started his senior year in high school. She was um, specifically trained for Chris. Oh, Chelsea's a great dog that basically did, you know, extraordinary things like picked out his books and helped him cross the street. And if he dropped his pen, pick his pen up without drooling all over it, which is a very tough thing to do. She would let him in and out of the house. She would open the refrigerator and get something. She would reach up and push the buttons on the elevators. The problem with that was she couldn't read numbers, so he'd stop at every floor because <laughs> she'd push all the buttons. <laughs> and he always got a kick out of that. Chelsea could put the uh, uh, light switch on, could take the light switch off, could uh, open a door for Christopher so he can come out, and all he had to do was say something, you know, door. <laughs> Switch, light switch. <laughs> she was also taught to cross Chris's legs because Chris couldn't cross his leg. So to change his position so his leg wouldn't fall asleep, Chelsea was taught to put her nose underneath Chris's ankle and to push his leg up with her nose onto the other leg. It was amazing. This dog was like human. Chelsea was a good facilitator to bringing uh, women over and hanging out. Chelsea was Chris's babe magnet. That's what he called her his blonde, and his babe magnet. Because what girl doesn't like a dog? The funny part of Chelsea's job was to be the babe magnet, because dogs can do that. A lot of guys like to have a dog walk the dog, so Chris had his Chelsea. But in reality, he also had an ability to connect with these animals. They, they just had a different reaction to Chris than they did other people. The dogs are just inherently friendly, but he was very loving, so definitely the animals will come back to that. She had a really big heart, but it was just so interesting that even though she loved my mom, me and my dad, she, she loved Chris. I mean, if I would take her for a walk, she would love to get back to see Chris. You know, she would never sleep in any other room except where Chris was. And, you know, that was his, that was his girl. You know, to pet Chelsea, you would take Chris's hands um, and, and, you know, you would pet Chelsea, and sometimes he would want to be on the floor with her so that they could kind of hang out. They absolutely loved each other. Chelsea would give him a bath whenever he allowed her. I mean, just jump up on him and just kiss him all over his face. So they, they had a, a fantastic relationship. She was his soulmate as well as his helper. She died from cancer, and Chris had her cremated and her ashes will be scattered with his uh, in the islands. And it's really appropriate to Chelsea go with Chris because they were a twosome. Their love and their dedication to each other, you know, continued right until the end.